Well, but one Janet, she don't live there no more. She used to, they're the ones that started it off. Yeah, they used to do. But I used to help the floats and things like that. We used to decorate them, whatever the theme was, like pirates, clowns, whatever. Yeah, yeah got together, community thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was no sort of forward <laughs> planning or anything <laughs> like that, I don't think. Usually it was people come round and say, can you come and do so-and-so? Yeah. Because even like the trucks and stuff all got decorated and so there was flowers to be made to do them all up and stuff. So I do think a lot of work went into it by the main people because it always seemed to run so smooth, you know. The school was involved. The school was really involved. But um, there was, all, the, all the mums just got together and did everything. My name's Emma and I was Carnival Queen in 1990. 1976, 1977. I was 15. I was uh, maid of honour. Probably about 1985, 86. I was great. I loved it. I was just, I was picked out of um, a hat. People just put like, um, you know, pieces of paper in and voted for me. Because I, I wasn't really that bothered. I said, oh no, I don't really want to be it. But the, <laughs> they all picked mine out of the heart. I'm sure it's like February, March time, and you used to go to the Birkin Centre, and then there'd be this room full of strangers, and you'd have to walk around this in a square, like, past them all, and they'd judge you, and it was actually quite nerve wracking. We would go to the local school, St John's Wood, it was called, and there'd be like a panel of people and we would just walk round in a circle and then basically they'd tell you who got it, who got the parts. No, I didn't think I'd get picked, I was shocked. Like the Queen was always like the prettiest girl and kind of gentle, kind. It's a theory anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The reality is probably not the same. Oh, it was great. <laughs> As a kid, you're like, wow, I've been picked over all these people. Because <laughs> you think people are prettier than when you're, when, you, when you're little, you know, and I was always a bit more on the chunkier side than my friends. So I expected, say, my friend Kelly, who everybody thought was gorgeous, to have got it. So, yeah, I was quite chuffed, really. I can remember it like yesterday, and I was number four. Because we all had a number, a square number. So I thought number four must be my lucky number. Well, when I was that age, I thought it was like beauty. Now I would think probably somebody who can cope with it. But um, when I was a kid, it was like they were looking for the most gorgeous person out of that group. <laughs> a very long, white, plain, long sleeve dress. It was just donated. I think they had it, but you know, I'm not sure if the Queen wore it every year. My nan made it for me, and I remember going to Altrincham to this big material shop, and she bought all the pearls, and she asked me which flowers I wanted because she bought these tiny little roses, and and then I'd go round and I'd have fittings, and she tried it on about three times while I was doing it to make sure I was doing it right. I really remember thinking, I hope it comes all right. So I was a bit scared, if you know, but I loved it, doing it. Because I've been in it mo n nearly all my life, really, from the age that I was allowed to go in it. You know, it was various things. I think I was lady-in-waiting a couple of times. You know, fairies, various characters. Yeah, they had like different things like these, like dressed up as Mexicans and Robin Hood and 
made my room and fry it up. I remember my brother being Tarzan, bless him, and uh, he dressed up as a woman once, which is quite ironic because he earns his money as a drag queen now. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was very warm that day, yeah. We were on like a milk float. Um, I think years later they introduced the trucks. Um, there was a lot of people walking. Um, yeah, they were all, weren't all privileged with a ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I refused to be in the carnival unless I was on a float. <laughs> I wasn't really one for walking round. <laughs> it was a hot day because I remember the sun being in my eyes. But no, it was quite nice. Just remember being sat there and like everyone around me and we went, did the parade and then we went to the Birkin. I remember you, had, you used to have to do a walk and they asked you to like put one foot and then together. Councillor Bradshaw is called. He crowned me. And I remember I, was, I got all worked up because I knew that he had to kiss me. At, oh, and I cried because <laughs> I didn't want him to. <laughs> Poor man. Um, my mum was over the moon. She loves anything like that. <laughs> she wanted me to be the May Queen in Knutsford, but it just doesn't work that way. Yeah, they don't take people from Manchester over spell. It's you've got to be in Knutsford in been born in Knutsford. I was born in Wimmershaw, moved here when I was three years old, so I didn't qualify. I think it's naughty really. I did go into the nuts of uh, May Day. I remember being Little Miss Muffet once. But our big thing wasn't nuts of May Day growing up. It was Longridge and Shawhee Carnival, so that was our day locally. Because there's quite a big divide in Nutsford between that end of Nutsford and this end of Nutsford, I don't think it's as bad as it used to be when I was a kid because I think now more people are experiencing difficulties financially. So I think it's more um, when, obviously, I was a child, it was like, oh, you live on Longridge. It was really frowned upon. I do like to think it's changed a bit now, but I still think there is that bit of snobbery. But I'm proud of this side of nuts. I think I feel safe over here. You know, there's good and bad everywhere, isn't there? So bring it on. Ha, 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 ha.